Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video, we are talking about the first Iranian pilot, Colonel Mohammad Taghi Khan Pasian. So before starting this video, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Colonel Mohammad Taki Khan Pasian was born on 1892 and died on October 3, 1921. He was an Iranian gendarme and pilot who formed and lead the short-lived autonomous government of Khorasan. He was killed in a battle with forces sent by Ahmad Gavam, the prime minister at the time. Pasian was born into an aristocratic Azerbaijani family in Tabriz originating in the Caucasus. Pasian's family possessed strong military traditions, his uncle General Hamza Khan Pasian was a commander in the Persian Cossack Brigade, his cousins Haydar Kohli Khan Pasian father of Iranian author and journalist, Madalat Pasian and grandfather of Anglo-Iranian journalist and author, Cherry Mostchar, Ali Kohli Khan Pasian, Ghulam Reza Khan Pasian and he himself served in gendarmerie. In Tabriz Muhammad Taki was educated in sciences, Turkish, Persian, Arabic and other foreign languages. In 1907 he left for Tehran, when he was only 15 years old, to continue his education. After five years when he was 20 years old, he took up the rank of second lieutenant in the gendarmerie, within two years he was promoted to captain. After that he held a variety of posts such as second commander in a battalion in Kazvin, served in Hamadan and Yazd and also was an instructor and interpreter at gendarmerie school in Yusefabad, Tehran. He was promoted to major when World War I broke out. In November 1915, at the age of 22, as commander of the gendarmerie in Hamadan, he launched an attack on the pro-Russian Persian Cossack Brigade at the Battle of Musala. His gendarmes managed to disarm the Persian Cossacks, and Mohammad Taki managed to convince some of the Cossacks to join his forces in a patriotic speech he made to them after their defeat. Muhammad Taki and Major Azizala Khan Zargami as gendarmerie commanders could not defend Hamadan against an advancing Russian Caucasus army which was superior in numbers and weapons. The gendarmes retreated to Kermansha where they were defeated by the Russians, with many fleeing to the Ottoman Empire. August 1916 saw the return of gendarmes to Kermansha, but again were defeated and this time many went to live in exile in Istanbul, while Muhammad Taki returned to live in exile in Berlin. He was 24 years old at the time. During his time in Berlin, he was trained as a pilot in the German Air Force and was rewarded with the Eisern's Cruise Medal for shooting down more than 25 enemy aircraft during World War I. He also translated many works from Persian II and from French, German and English, some of these included Alphonse de Lamartine and Rabindranath Tagore. He also wrote two books in Persian, Sargozashti Yek Javani Vatendaust and Jangi Moghaddaz Az Baghdad Tehran. His love of poetry, especially that which was politically committed, was particularly evident and his choice of works for translation, for example of Alphonse de Lamartine and Rabindranath Tagore, illustrated his own romantic nationalism. He studied European music, learning to play the piano, and transposed Persian national songs into German. On a more overtly political level he was in contact with the Iranian radicals led by Hassan Takazada and grouped around the periodical Kavi, for which he occasionally wrote articles. In 1920, Mohammad Taki returned to Iran and joined the gendarmerie. In June 1920 he was promoted to the rank of colonel and in September 1920, at the age of 28, he became commander of gendarmerie of Khorasan. On April 3, 1921 in a military coup with his small force of only 200 gendarmes, he had Ahmad Gavim, the governor-general of Khorasan, arrested and sent him to Tehran where he was imprisoned. He then became head of the provincial autonomous government of Khorasan. In June, Ahmad Gavim was released from prison and became the prime minister of Iran. He was determined to take revenge and suppress Basian. He did so by gaining the approval of Reza Khan and dispatching the Cossack forces to Khorasan. Having previously been the governor of that province, Gavim had developed a strong relationship with the local chieftains and dispatched them to confront Pasian also. Sardar Moazes Khan Bajnurdi succeeded in gaining the cooperation of the Shervan chieftains in mobilizing the Kurds in Guchin. To combat this, Pasian gathered his scant forces to face the insurgency in Jafarabad, near Guchin. This occurred on October 3, 1921 when Pasian, 
and his small force of 150 gendarmes faced a force of strong 1,000-plus mounted Kurdish tribesmen. In the fight that ensued some of the gendarmes left the battlefield. Many of Pasean's comrades were killed, and he was eventually surrounded and beheaded. His head was brought to Tehran to prove that he had been killed. For five continuous years after his death, on October 3rd, people of Khorasan mourned his death. During his 29 years he lived on the earth, Pasean could manage to accomplish more than a full lifetime of all remarkable achievements. He is buried in Mashhad, Khorasan in the same garden that contains Nader Shah's tomb.